Welcome back. The objectives of this video are to, to determine the domain and range of a function, introduce the vertical line test, show you what increasing and decreasing portions of functions look like, and introduce the relative minimum and maximum points of functions. We're going to take a quick look at the square root function in our library of parent functions. Okay, I think we've done the square root function before where our domain, our inputs, are the x's are only greater than uh, zero and our range is also including zero and greater to infinity. Our intercept is the origin and this function is continually increasing uh, on its entire domain, so from zero all the way to infinity. In lines with objective one, we want to find the domain of each function. Uh, we also want to graph this to confirm the domain and determine the range. So our function, x minus one, it's a square root function. So we can only take square root of zero or positive numbers. So x minus one has got to be greater than or equal to zero. So x has got to be greater than or equal to one. Everything from one to infinity is going to be a valid input. So using our interval notation, one to infinity is our domain. That is our domain of our function. Our range, we can see from our library of parent functions what our range is. Uh, we can also graph square root function. So second square root, I'm gonna put that in parentheses although I probably don't need to, x minus one and we'll go ahead and graph that and sure enough consistent with our domain okay it starts at one our range looks like it's going to go out to uh, infinity here so our range then is all the values from zero inclusive up out to infinity. Our second objective, the vertical line test. The vertical line test tells us whether the graph of a function is indeed a function or a graph is a function. And we can use the vertical line test so you can see here in sample A if we input looks like three we get two different outputs for uh, the same input. Well, that violates one of our properties of functions. So the vertical line test says that if you draw a vertical line through your graph and you hit the graph more than once, well, that can't be a function. So A fails the vertical line test, so that is not a function. Whereas B here, we can draw vertical lines. We only hit the graph once, so this passes the vertical line test. So that is indeed a function. And in our checkpoint here, sure enough, here we have it again, where we hit that graph two different times with a vertical line. So that is not a function because it fails the vertical line test. Increasing and decreasing functions are pretty much uh, what it says it is, okay? A function is decreasing if its output values are falling as our inputs are rising in value, or as we read from left to right, if our values, our outputs are falling, it's a decreasing function. A constant function, means our outputs are staying the same as our inputs are increasing. And as our inputs are increasing and our outputs are increasing, we have an increasing function. So uh, this is all based on as you read from left to right or as you travel along the number line. So visually, pretty straightforward. Um, here's the algebraic work showing that if x1 is less than x2, and 
f of x1 is less than f of x2 or f of x2 is greater than f of x1, then our function must be increasing as we read from left to right. Here's an example of uh, if our input is, our two inputs, if one is less than the other, but our outputs, first one's greater and the second one's less than, that's a decreasing function. So just an algebraic version there. Finally, relative max or minimum. As you can see here in B, a relative max or min says, do we have a high point or a low point on our graph? Okay. So we do have, in this particular function here, that high point, that peak, that bump, that would be considered a relative maximum. If we evaluated between negative two and one, that's gonna be a relative maximum point. So this bump down here, this would be a relative minimum. That's gonna be a minimum point where our our function changes direction and goes from fall, falling, rising to falling or falling to rising is gonna be a relative min or a relative maximum. So we've got a couple samples, another sample here to do. Given our function x cubed minus three x, use our graphing calculator, determine the regions in which the function is increasing, decreasing, and constant, and then also determine the approximate relative minimum and maximum points of the function. So we're gonna to go to our graphing calculator. We will input our function of x cubed minus three x. So x to the third power, x cubed minus three, x is our function. I'm gonna graph that, graph that in the standard window. So where is our function increasing, decreasing, or constant? Well, our function appears to be increasing from x's from negative infinity. It looks like all the way to about negative one here where it looks like we've got a relative maximum point. And then it appears to be decreasing between negative one and one. And then it's increasing again from one all the way out to positive infinity. So the answer to A, I would say it's increasing from negative infinity all the way to negative one. We'll go inclusive in union with one to infinity. And it's decreasing in the interval between negative one and positive one. So it looks like we might have relative mins or max there. There was no constant. It was never constant. Uh, so none. So now we want to find the relative min or maximum points of that function. And we can do that using our calculator. So I can go second calc. I'm going to use the calc or a calc key, which is above the trace button. So second calc. And that gives me an option to find zeros or minimum or maximum. Uh, let's go ahead and find that maximum point. So the calculator asks us for a left bound. So if, if I think this is a relative max, I need to get to the other side to a left to the left of that point. Because my calculator is saying, okay, give me an area to look no further left than this point. So that sounds good. I'm gonna hit the left bound is X. So now I'm gonna look everything to the right of that. That's my left boundary. And now it's asking for a right bound. So I need something to the other side of that. So zero looks pretty good. My right boundary. So I'm looking between you know zero and it looks like negative two here. I'm not gonna enter a guess. I'll just hit enter and sure enough, it tells me my maximum point is two at x equals essentially negative one. So let's do that again. Let's see if we can find the minimum. And again, it's gonna ask for a left bound. So my left boundary here, why don't we go ahead and use zero for that? I need a right boundary. 
So I've got to go past that. So somewhere over there looks pretty good. So I'm going to hunt in between here for a minimum value. Hit enter, ask for a guess, and it gives me my minimum point is negative 2 at x equals essentially 1. So my minimum and maximum points, my minimum was at 1, negative 2. And my maximum at negative 1. And it looks like 2. That is our introduction to domain and range, the vertical line test, increasing and decreasing functions, and finding the relative max and min using your calculator. And with that, I will see you in class.